Okay, look at this. I found this thread on Reddit like it was posted like two or three weeks ago, I think. And it kind of confused me. I, I noticed I didn't have any interaction, right, for whatever reason. And this could be a game changing thing. Now, here's the deal I do not know whether this is a bug or a feature because at first it does seem like a bug, but keep in mind. Uh, so I'm talking about these things, the Naraka potions, right? Uh, it doesn't work with any other potions, only with the Naraka one. So uh, these do have a special use. For example, if you haven't completed this yet, I believe it's this one or is it this one? There was one of the stages where there's like mines, right? I don't remember which one, but basically the mine stage. Uh, it might be this one, mine test, right? And here's the deal, if you use the Naraka potion, you essentially can fly over the mines, completely skipping that. So that's the reason why I feel like this is not in, uh, not a bug and actually might be intentional. But these Naraka potions are actually so OP that you can complete a Path of Adventure hard mode level 2 dungeon probably on the first day of playing. And the reason for that is... I'm talking about the Temple of Darkness. Now, it does work here. I didn't test whether it works in the Special Expedition, but because this boss is the same, I assume it will work as well. Uh, but basically, if you go into this dungeon, any stage, doesn't matter, uh, the hardest part will be completing the waves prior to them. So uh, if you are able to complete the waves prior to them, you will be able to beat the boss with this method. And Here's the deal. I'll show you a regular run, right? Uh, I'm gonna take one monster out so it's a bit slower so you could understand what happens, right? Uh, I'm gonna do one run and then I'll do a few runs with the new method and I'll show you why it's so easy, right? So uh, with Perna, this is a relatively easy dungeon. However, if you are a bit uh, early game, Okay, uh, notice at the boss using his skills on my cleave or whoever is in the front line, right? Uh, so it uses his active skills, it tries to push me, all of that. Uh, sometimes my cliff resists, sometimes it doesn't, right? In fact, you know what, just to showcase a little bit better, I'll do another run, but I'll take out uh, the Huaki, so that I still sort of beat the run, but uh, you're able to see the skills a bit more. So it uses a skill, it does that uh, pull plus level 10 slow, then it does the pushback with defense break, uh, some of these attacks apply like blind, oblivion, right? Six dots right there. So yeah, uh, for newbies, uh, it can be a little bit of a harder dungeon. Well, not even for newbies. I would say up until recently, up until Perna, this was a difficult dungeon that I could beat, but it wasn't 100% all of the time. But now, look at this. Look at this. So, what we're gonna do is use the Naraka potion and I want you to pay attention to the targeting of the boss. Pay attention to what attacks the boss uses. So if we go to the path of growth, we go to path of adventure and keep in mind this only works on this particular boss. I tested it on other bosses, it does not seem to work. I tested it on two, I think I tested it on the spider and on that rock guy, right? Forgotten air shrine or whatever it's called. And it didn't work there. So what I'm gonna do is I will take a healer and I'll take a perna, yeah? Now, I'm gonna set a Solik to skill 1 so that uh, my Hwaki is constantly being healed. And look at the interaction. Look at what attacks the boss uses. I'm gonna turn these off. Look at what attacks the boss uses. A basic attack. A basic attack. A basic attack. A basic attack. Look at that. The first skill was used after like five basic attacks. Again, just basic attacks. We're just hitting basic attacks. Just basic attacks. So yeah. Now, if you ask me what is happening here, I wouldn't be able to say, but my guess would be that the boss is programmed to somehow only hit uh, units that are on the ground or something. And if the closest unit is in the air, like 
the little dragon transmog, the Naraka transmog. The boss just doesn't know what to do. It, it does the skill sometimes. I tried it, I did five games, and this was the first time the boss used a skill. Uh, the previous four games, the boss didn't use a skill, but I also tried the transmog on Solella, right? Uh, this was the first time I'm trying it on Cleef, and looks like it does work with Cleef as well. But yeah, as you can see, there is some kind of a very weird interaction. It uses this skill, it looks like, only, right? Because the last time it only used this as well, but mostly it will only use basic attacks, right? So I'm gonna switch to Perna so it hits uh, the skill 2 a bit more off. Oh, actually, it's programmed to hit skill 1, but yeah. Didn't hit, well, actually, no, I got hit by a single skill this time, right? And I have a feeling the skill it has to do with it being a cleave. So I'm gonna set it to Perna now. And yeah, let's look again. So it gets a few basic attack. Yeah, again, it only uses the dot skill. The dot skill is not dangerous. It is a not dangerous skill. And with any cleanse, with any immunity, you can easily prevent it. So here's the deal. You are actually able to win the stage without any effort. Like the only thing you need to do is prevent that single skill from hitting uh, you with a lot of dots, which you can negate by either having like immunity, uh, healing, uh, cleanse, whatever. Like it's super easy. Anything that would give you HP or remove those dots is enough. And the second thing you need is to deal with that uh, passive that procs at 20%. And that passive basically uh, gives the boss immunity. I think it was evasion down or whatever and soul protection and there's a few ways to deal with that so uh, the first one is either using a skill that has the undeviable buff so the most common unit will definitely be the perna that everyone is using but there's quite a few so uh the fire mermaid if you have her from event uh this girl if you use her for some reason uh, a twin if you have some of them i mean i'm not gonna touch the light and dark ones there's no need to go that excessive there's also a skill that uh has basically damage that uh, yeah undeviable damage so it's not a debuff but it just kills and not allows you to devise so uh the wind pioneer uh what's it called beth the fire hell lady even the mostaza the almighty <laughs> battlefield destroyer and even some nat fogs if you have them yeah i wouldn't recommend building this guy this guy sucks i hate him but i uh, like the dark amazon maybe even her i don't really know what she does Another very easy way to win that stage is by just using the block beneficial effect. So if you apply block beneficial effect before it drops down to 20%, uh, it's also gonna not apply any buffs and you will be able to kill it very easily. So the free unit is a Chivu. You can get him from the monster story. There's also lizard man. This guy is pretty decent. I'm not in high if you have her. Just so link that on skill one for not in half or chivo or all of that. And you will have a permanent heal block. But yeah, I don't know. This interaction is super weird. I tested it on others. I tested it on this. I tested it on this. It doesn't work. It only works on this boss. But I assume it will work on what's it called? The expedition right so if you are having trouble with expedition there's a good chance you are having more trouble with expedition than this one because of all the requirements yeah um this is an easy way to do it i don't know why it is made that way i'm guessing it's sort of programming where the boss just attacks units on the ground or something but yeah as you can see at most it will shoot the same aoe that just applies dots the moment I use it with Soleta, it didn't use any AoE at all. I did five runs and it just doesn't use skills at all. It was even easier. As you can see, I just got a new high score with order, two units. On top of that, we got two legendary ones. Oh shit, that's a good one. That one isn't though. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if you're struggling with runes, if you're struggling with getting into hard mode, if you're struggling with expedition, use it while we can. I don't know whether this is a bug or whether this is a feature, but it's there and it definitely will allow you to progress a bit more. But yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Peace.